Now, what do you, when you look back now at your experience with Wings, what do you take most from that experience? I got my master's in music from McCartney University. I mean, it was just, it was part of my education. Um, I can't get away from it. You know, the fact that we're talking about it now 30 plus years later, um, you know, it's part of the, the continuum, continuum of Beatledom. You know, so I have my little piece of that kind of Beatles thing. And it was, it was a remarkable experience, and I wouldn't trade it for anything. Uh, but it was, it, was, it was just a period. You know, I mean, I've been working as a professional musician essentially since I was about 13 years old. You know, and uh, the three years that I spent working with Paul was, was extremely um, educational. It was, it was uh, on so many levels, the music business, the, the machinery of the record business, you know, m learning how to write, because I never really wrote. I was not a composer before I worked with Paul. And then I saw how he did it and realized, you don't have to wait for lightning to hit, hit you on the head. You know, you just do it. You get up in the morning and you write. Lawrence, at some point, as I mentioned before, you do win or you are awarded a second Grammy. Tell us about that. Well, see, what happened was when my kids were little, I started getting into playing fingerstyle stuff. And I always loved fingerstyle guitar. I did it as a parallel thing to being a studio musician, to being a you know, rock league guitar player. I was playing fingerstyle guitar. And what happened was that I got offered a record deal. Guitar comes out because it's easier to easier to demonstrate than to, than to say. I mean, but basically, you know, using the right hand fingers. To you know, to create a complete musical statement. So you know, bass and melody, and then you know, harmonic style, rhythms, you know, all that kind of stuff. And what happened was I, I got offered a record deal, so I made an album, and it got played on the radio, and it was called Solo Flight, got played, this was 1990, got played, people said, do it again, so I did another one, and I kept doing it, and I'm now, I think the, the latest one is my 19th, and along the way, I put out, uh, mostly I was doing original stuff, but I started getting into arranging and I got kind of begged to do a Beatle album, which I really didn't want to do. I didn't want really? to do, yeah, because I was too busy composing. But I did a cover of Rain for, for an album of mine called Mosaic in about 98. And um, my wife Hope said, you know, if you, don't do, if you don't do this for anybody else, do it for me. So I said, okay, you produce. So I handed her the production reins, and it ended up, you know, we did this record, it was well received, ended up being voted, I think, in, like in the top ten all-time acoustic guitar records by Acoustic Guitar Magazine. And then, you know, gave it to Paul, and he said, well, what about Wings? <laughs> <You know? laughs> so eventually, I didn't want to do it, but t again, but, you know, the process kind of took over. So I did an album of Wings tunes called One Wing. Um, and then last year I put out volume two of the Beatles because it's not like there's any shortage of tunes, you know, I mean, there's like a million of them. And um, this whole thing kind of developed into really, you know, a full-blown career where I, I, you know, I started touring and getting involved with guitar companies, eventually with Martin Guitars, developing a signature model, a series, actually a signature series, not just one guitar, but a whole series of guitars with them. and. In the midst of this, um, Solid Air Records, who put out my albums, said, you know, we're doing a, a Henry Mancini compilation, what do you want to do? And I said, Pink Panther, straight away. So I did this arrangement of Pink Panther, and um, we ended up, like, the album won a Grammy, you know, so. That's great, yeah. that is great. Yeah, yeah. Now, now best this- Best pop instrumental, so I have best rock instrumental, best pop instrumental. 